Hello everybody and welcome to this second FSpy tutorial where I will show and display my plugins for Maya and After Effects. First, I'll show you how to install. So here you can see I'm in the scripts UI panel of my After Effects scripts folder for my current After Effects version 2021. And here I put the, the script file that I placed inside my scripts UI panel for my After Effects uh, installation. For Maya, take the fspy importer folder as well as the fspy importer.py file and you can drop them into your Maya plugins directory, which is on Windows, usually located in their documents folder. Now for After Effects, in order to load the plugin, you can go to Window down here at the bottom and you will be able to see the plugin right here. Clicking on it will bring out open uh, the plugin. For Maya, just as easy, you can go to your plugin manager and you should see the fspy importer.py you get a uh, fspy uh, menu up here and open the fspy importer uh, right here and it loads just like that okay here on my desktop i have a sample picture and it's this picture nice perspective picture uh, we get nice lines uh, in, in every axis and i can show you how the plugin works uh, quite easily with a picture like this all right, first things first, I'm in FSpy now and I will drag my picture onto the open area. Now, previously I mentioned how you can have this uh, focal length checked, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bare bones setup here. Now the axes that I'm gonna use are gonna be the X and the Z. What I could do is I can change this Y to be Z. And if I do a negative Z, you'll see that the Y axis is pointing up. But again, this can be completely customized to however you like. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take the X axis, hold shift so that I could align it here to the X axis of that point and again, do the same, holding shift so I can closely align it. Now for the Z axis, very easy setup. And it's good to be accurate, as accurate as you can. I'll do this X and you'll see if I get very close, you can see I get a really good distance. And here, if I'm moving my center point across, you can see that it very much matches. So I know that I'm getting a good perspective and a good match here. So it looks like this is going to be my setup and I'm gonna save it on my desktop in a folder called FSpy and I'll just call it test. It's a good thing to note that if you have something with a number in it, or so maybe something that starts with a number, a space, you know, some, some strange characters like that, you shouldn't name your file like that because it's not going to work with the importer. Now I'm gonna open up Maya and watch how easy this is going to be. You see here it's fspy, I can just double click on my fspy and there it is, perfect. It's a perfect match. It comes in absolutely perfect. Uh, if you go to the render settings, you can see here that the width and the dement, the width and the height matches right here, the image width and the height from the FSpy project. So that's good. Also, if you select the camera, you can see here, uh, yeah, the camera aperture matches as well. Now this focal length maybe is not that accurate, but I'll show you how to make it even more accurate. But anyway, if we create a cube here, you can see that the cube is in perspective and matches the perspective of the scene. So here in FSpy, it calculated the focal length automatically. But if I check this, you'll see that you have the options to adjust your camera, such as 35 minutes, millimeter, Canon, again, Nikon, even Sony. Here's how you would properly calculate the focal length. Okay, so what we'll do is we know that the sensor width is gonna be 35. So I do 35 and I hit enter. I must hit enter or else it won't change. So 35 and you'll see we have the image sensor proportions mismatched. What we have to do is we have to calculate the height now of the sensor. So since these are straight out of camera, take this number 35, multiply it, by four, seven, nine, zero, that's this number here. And then I'm gonna divide it by 7177. And here you get 23.36. You get a more accurate um, focal length when you actually manually type in the numbers. And then I could, what I could do is I could just save this and then come back in here and hit reload. But because I changed the sensor width, I will have to re-import and that is okay. Now you'll see the camera focal length does match this value right here. And what we can do is we can open up After Effects and we can do the same thing. Just hit import 
And here are FSpy project, double click it, and there we go. We get a camera, we get our image, we even get a nice folder over here, and we get an origin, and we can choose to have the background image in or out, or if we wanted to create a little scene grid, we can create a little grid, you can see it down here as sort of like a little image plane. Uh, we can also increase the scene scale or decrease it depending on how big we want our scene. Also the scene grid helps you to check and see if the perspective is going to work. But all in all, it does match very well in both Maya and After Effects. And that's good because I can, maybe I wanted to create some text, hold shift and parent it to the origin, make it 3D, make it black, and there you have it. All right, thank you very much for looking at the tutorial and having interest in my FSpy plugin. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help, please feel free to reach out and I will personally be of assistance and help you to get the plugin working if it's not working. It does work with all of the newer versions of After Effects and Maya. I haven't tested it so much on any of the older versions, but I'm confident enough that it should work for everyone's needs. So thank you again, and I hope you enjoy FSpy for After Effects and FSpy for Maya. Thank you. <laughs>